So this is another video explaining the proofs of the index rules. So in this, in this video I'm going to explain how you know a to the power 0 equals 1 and how you know negative powers are basically reciprocals. So let's do that. Uh, we need to begin with this, a to the power 3 equals a times a times a. We know that already, right? And we also know a to the power 2 equals a times a. And to get from this level down to this level, so from a times a times a down to a times a, we need to divide by a. We need to get rid of this times by a. And how do you get rid of the times by a? You divide by a. So that's what you need to do. Nothing complicated so far. In a similar way, we know a to the power 1 has got to be a because, you know, a just a to the power 1 just means we'll have one of those a's rather than two of those a's or three of those a's. So we accept that a to the power 1 has got to be a. And also, to get from this level down to this level, again, you have to divide by a to get rid of this times by a. So that's just to help you appreciate the fact that to get from one level to the next, you have to divide by a. Now we're going to explain why a to the power 0 has to be 1. And it's quite simple. If a to the power 1 has to be a, and you have to divide by a to get to the next level down, well, a divided by a is always going to be 1. Whatever the number you have for a, whatever your base is, um, a to the power 0 is always going to be 1. So this is the base and anything to the power 0 is 1, so that's ex that explained. Now let's move on to negative powers, which means you keep doing the same process and keep going further down. So after a to the power 0, 1, if you go further level down, you get a to the power minus 1. So how do you get to that level? You do 1 divided by a again, and you get 1 over a. So you've already got the reciprocal of... So a to the power minus 1 becomes 1 over a, which is like 1 over a to the power 1. And then to get to the next level down, you've got a to the power minus 2. Uh, and so how do you get to that level? You divide by a again. Dividing 1 over a by a is like doing 1 over a times 1 over a, which is 1 over a squared. And you can see we've got the reciprocal of a squared. So you just lose the minus and do the reciprocal. It just means turn the... Basically, the minus means find the reciprocal of a squared. And if you do it again, you'll find 1 over a squared divided by a means 1 over a squared times 1 over a, uh, which, of course, is 1 over a cubed. And you can see that a to the power minus 3 means 1 over a to the power 3. So again, minus just simply gives you the reciprocal of a to the power 3. And uh, that explains what we were doing in an earlier video when we said, let's go here, 4 to the power minus 3 equals 1 over 4 cubed. You just find the reciprocal of 4 to the power 3. So sometimes it's easier to see things in numbers, so I'm just showing you the numbers. But it also explains this. If you've got 3 over 5 to the power minus 2, remember we just learnt that... Uh, minus powers mean the reciprocal. Reciprocal, by the way, means 1 over, or flip upside down. So 3 over 5, the reciprocal of that is 5 over 3. So you can see it's doing that. That's, and that's all there is to the video, really.